City of Flint Office of Emergency Manager Michael K. Brown Financial and Operating Plan January 15, 2012 City Hall 1101 S. Saginaw Street, Flint, Michigan 48502-810-766-7346 Fax, 810-766-7218 www.cityofflink.com City of Flint Financial and Operating Plan January 15, 2012 Introduction This financial and operating plan for the City of Flint is submitted to Governor Rick Snyder through the Department of Treasury for the State of Michigan in accordance with Public Act 4, Section 18 which requires plan submission 45 days after the appointment of the emergency manager. This report includes a summary of the financial conditions, goals for the City of Flint, a description of the planning process implemented by the financial manager and the planned and ongoing actions being taken to resolve the financial emergency. Summary of financial condition of the City of Flint in the report to Governor Snyder, dated November 7, 2011, the Flint Financial Review Team summarized the findings of the preliminary review conducted by the Treasury Department, August 29, September 12, 2011 and then reported the existence of, or likely occurrence of, the specific conditions set forth in Section 13, 3 of Act 4 which led to the recommendation of the appointment of an emergency manager. Preliminary Review Findings The City has incurred cumulative deficits in many of its funds over several years. The unaudited 2011 cumulative deficit is estimated to be $25.7 million. The Deficit Elimination Plan submitted to the Department of Treasury by city officials has not been followed and the general fund deficit has increased and is now estimated to be approximately $11.0 million. The general fund expenditures have exceeded revenues since 2007. The city relied upon transfers from the Water Supply and Sewage Disposal Fund for general city operations. City officials also borrowed from other funds to compensate for cash shortages including the Public Improvement Fund, the Local Street Fund and the Self-Insurance Fund. The city continued to experience a cash shortage. The city's ability to pay short-term obligations was uncertain. The pension system was less than 60% funded. City officials failed to make staff reductions in accordance with the Deficit Elimination Plan. Flint Financial Review Team Findings The city has a general fund deficit of $14,621,546 as of June 30, 2010 which was not eliminated within the two-year preceding period. January 15, 2012 Page 1 the city previously submitted the five-year deficit elimination plan for a cumulative general fund deficit of $7,046,820 as of June 30, 2008. However, by June 30, 2010 the cumulative general fund deficit had grown to $14,621,546. An updated plan submitted for 2010 does not purport to eliminate the cumulative deficit until 2030 and that relies upon the issuance of an additional $12 million of debt in 2013. A structural operating deficit existed in the general fund as of June 30, 2007, 2008. 2009, 2010 and the general fund is projected to have a $6,768,864 deficit as of June 30, 2011. The comprehensive annual financial report for the fiscal year ended June 30, 2011 was received in December 2011. The city's general fund, which had a $14.6 million deficit at the beginning of the year, ended it with an $8.9 million deficit. The reduction in the deficit was due solely to an $8 million fiscal stabilization bond issued by the city in March 2011. In total, excluding the impact of the FSB proceeds and the Gene C. Towers judgment levy, expenses in the general fund exceeded revenues. The city's water supply and sewage disposal systems also reported losses of $6.6 million and $14.1 million respectively. 
Increases in water and sewer fees have been implemented since the end of the fiscal year in an effort to forestall additional losses. However, the increases do not appear sufficient to address past deficits. The city had actuarial accrued liability for post-employment benefits other than pension, OPEB, of $862 million at June 30, 2011. Currently, the city is operating on a pay-as-you-go basis. In FYII, $19.6 million was spent on premiums for health care, compared to the recommended amount of $61.4 million. The auditor's comments continue to note concerns with cash flow and with the timeliness of certain account and bank reconciliations. Background several conditions developed over a period of decades to place the city of Flint in a situation of chronic fiscal stress. The major employer, General Motors, significantly reduced operations in Flint. In 1978 GM employed over 80,000 people, by 2006 employment totaled 8,000. The population of the city declined 18% between the census of 2000 and 2010. Owner-occupied housing decreased from a high of 73.1% in 1960 to a 2010 low of 44.7%. The jobless rate for the 2010 annual reporting period was 23.2%. State shared revenue which accounts for 31% of the general fund decreased 13% over the past five years. January 15, 2012 Page 2 In addition to the above noted reduced state shared revenue, the city's two other sources of revenue, property tax and income tax, have both suffered significant reductions. Between 2006 and 2011, property tax revenue has decreased 33% and income tax revenue has decreased 39%. As revenue decree said, the city of Flint implemented numerous cost controls. The workforce has been reduced by so since 2001, yet the total cost of wages, benefits, and retiree premiums have continued to increase. Note that the liability for services already rendered is essentially a fixed cost which is now borne by fewer active employees and reduced city revenues. Note, the statistics quoted above are taken from the report by Eric Scorsone, PhD titled, Long-Term Crisis and Systemic Failure, Taking the Fiscal Stress of America's Older Cities Seriously a Case Study, City of Flint, Michigan, dated September 2011. Goals The overall goals for the city are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Long term financial stability and increase in revenue base to provide quality services to its residents, a reduction in government costs through negotiated union contracts, consolidation in shared services, and ongoing professional development of staff continue to maintain and modernize the infrastructure of the city in alignment with the current population counts, to streamline the processes necessary for businesses to locate and continue operations in the city, to utilize the master plan to stabilize and then increase both the commercial and residential base of the city, to provide public safety services, focusing on reducing violent crime, commensurate with cities of comparable size and resources planning process the advisory committee required by the terms of the emergency manager contract was established through order s c page four actions taken to date five additional advisory committees were formed in order to seek broad expertise to ensure public engagement and to maintain a sense of continuity with the mayor and the city council mayor walling all nine council members and over 50 other citizens have participated in these advisory committees. January 15, 2012 Page 3 The advisory committees are Finance Administration Chair Armando Hernandez Public Safety Chair Diana Kelly Infrastructure Development Chair George Wilkinson Grants DCED Chair Sue Peters Pension and OPEB Underfunding Chair Ed Kurtz New management appointments have been made to ensure that the essential services necessary for the public's health, safety and welfare are assured and to continue to conduct all respects of the city of operation within the resources of available.
Thus managers and other contracted employees will work on the creation and implementation of a deficit elimination plan. All contracts were extended with the approval of the Treasury Department. Actions taken to date Order 1. Termination of appointments The City Administrator, Executive Secretary to the City Administrator, the Director of Human Resources and Labor Relations, the Director of the Civil Service Commission, the Ombudsman, the Citizens Services Director, and the City's Green Coordinator were all terminated on December 2, 2011. Order 2. Elimination of salaries and benefits of the Mayor and the City Council all salary, compensation and benefits, including the accrual of post-employment benefits were eliminated for the Mayor and nine City Council members. Orders 3, 4 and 7. Procedures for purchasing and procedure for submission of resolutions and ordinances, budgetary oversight and termination of line item levels. Together these three orders defined operating procedures for the continued functioning of city government. Orders 5 and 6. Elimination of the Office of Ombudsman and Civil Service Commission. These orders terminated all staff associated with the eliminated offices. Order 8. Advisory Committee pursuant to the contract for the emergency manager, an advisory committee of three to five members was established within 30 days of assuming emergency manager responsibilities. The following individuals have been appointed. Mayor Dane Walling, Councilman Del Rico Lloyd, Kenyatta Dotson, Latrell Holmes and Tim Herman. January 15, 2012 Page 4 Orders 9 and 10. Mayor and Council Members Responsibilities and Partial Restoration of Compensation Mayor Dane Walling had 60% of base salary and all benefits restored with a listing of specific flail time responsibilities. City Council Members will receive approximately 30% of salary and no benefits. Council will convene as scheduled by the Emergency Manager, address the concerns of their respective constituencies, host ward meetings and serve on assigned committees as directed by the Emergency Manager. Order 11. Procedure for submission of matters I N V O L V I N G A R E C O M M E N D A T I O N B Y T H E Planning Commission. This order establishes the procedure to be followed for taking action on matters where state or city law requires a recommendation by the City Planning Commission, including zoning ordinances, vacating a street, and street name changes. Order 12. Monthly meetings with Flint City Council The emergency manager will conduct monthly meetings with Flint City Council to provide a status report and to answer council members' questions. The meetings, which will be held the second Monday of every month, will be open to the public and will provide an opportunity for public hearings. Overall Departments Department Management Reconfiguration 1. 2. 3. Infrastructure and Development Finance Administration IT Public Safety, see Attachment No. 1, Organizational Chart Financial Administration IT Income Tax Processing is being handled through a joint project with the cities of Grand Rapids and Lansing. The Comprehensive Annual Financial Report for the year ended June 30, 2011 has been received and filed with the Department of Treasury. The Flint Economic Vitality Incentive Program Certification of Consolidation of Services EVIP, was filed December 30, 2011 which qualifies the City of Flint to receive state shared revenue as of January 2012. See Attachment No. 2, EVIP Package January 15, 2012 Pages City of Flint is implementing a modified prescription drug program which requires the issuance of a generic drug unless a name brand drug is determined to be medically necessary. The City of Flint Human Relations Commission, HRC, is being reorganized to address constituent and citizen services. This reorganization is being developed in relation to elimination of departments, ombudsmen and civil service commission, as well as reductions in executive staff. The HRC will now be the first stop office at City Hall with a targeted focus on prompt citizen response. Infrastructure Development The year-long expired contract for water purchase by the County Drain Commission from the City of Flint has been executed, and Drain Commission withheld funds have been repaid to the City. The ECBG grant from the U.S. Department of Energy has been resubmitted. 
the city will be prepared to implement projects focusing on incinerator, building retrofits and composting. T-H-E-S-M-I-T-H-V-I-L-L-A-G-E-H-O-U-S-I-N-G-P-R-O-J-E-C-T-I-S-F-U-N-D-E-D-P-R-I-M-A-R-I-L-Y-W-I-T-H
attorney training and trial preparation. The city attorney continues to emphasize the litigation team approach to case handling, with weekly review of pending matters and discussion of how best to protect the city of Flint's legal interests. The city of Flint currently has a lawsuit against Blue Cross Blue Shield pending in Jean C. County Circuit Court. The claim seeks recovery of multi-million dollar overpayments related to a hidden fee. Similar claims have been successfully resolved by several other Michigan municipalities. Infrastructure development determines City of Flint's level of participation in the Kurgnandi Water Authority KWA, water pipeline project. All departments and divisions currently assigned to the Infrastructure Development Director are being reorganized to provide a more functional reporting structure and to allow more efficient day-to-day -day operation within the divisions. An application has been made to the Michigan Department of Environmental Quality for an S-2 grant to study the water pollution control infrastructure condition. A preventative maintenance program for the entire water system is under development. Objective is to control and reduce lost water. The comprehensive master planning process is underway. This plan will define future land use needs and will lead to the development of a coordinated capital improvement plan with associated partners such as the schools, colleges, and regional authorities. Collaborative economic development efforts are underway with the Gene C. Regional Chamber of Commerce to attract and retain businesses, and to receive and apply new tools such as the Next Michigan Development Corporation and Smart Zone designation. The city will continue to work with Racer Trust for brownfield development, including Buick City. Public Safety Continue Patrol Assistance from Michigan State Police. This is a crime deterrent and increases traffic safety compliance. Continue existing collaborative efforts with regional partners. Examples. Flint Area Narcotics Unit, Safe Streets Task Force, and U.S. Attorney's Office Zero Tolerance Gun January 15, 2012 Page 8 Violence Reduction Initiative, Ceasefire, and other programs to help eliminate gang activity and prevent other violent acts. A request for information, RFI, has been prepared and is being sent to prospective vendors to determine costs and capability to operate the city lockup. Apply new technologies and information systems to improve police efficiencies and improve targeting and effectiveness including New World, Cop Logic, Shot Spotter and DDACTS. Projects under assessment over all departments review all departments and services for potential merger, consolidation, contracted service, shared services with other governmental entities, privatization or elimination. As a result of this review determine if these functions should be subsidized with general property tax dollars and what will be paid by the users. Attachment number 2, City of Flint VIP Package A comprehensive review of current and potential revenue sources will be undertaken as part of the preparation of the FY13 budget. Methods of collections will also be reviewed. Review current expenditures for significant reduction. Review all city-owned assets, both real property and capital equipment and determine if disposal should be pursued. Review necessary ordinance and charter revisions which would increase flexibility for department reorganization and budget flexibility. Investigate appropriate investments necessary to achieve longer-term savings, cost avoidance, and improved efficiencies. Review the process for all grants to the City of Flint for appropriate use of funds potential for continued funding, and timely reapplication. Develop a system of benchmarking costs to determine whether to maintain City of Flint operations or outsource services. January 15, 2012 Page 9 Financial Administration IT Review The potential for alternate administration of the pension fund. The City of Flint is looking at options for the administration and fund investment management of the Flint Employee Retirement System, FERS. Study potential for revisions to current employee pension plan including comparison of defined benefit versus defined contribution plans. Request a legal opinion with regard to retiree pension and OPEB contractual versus constitutional issues. Risk Management Office is reviewing various employee retiree health care options including plan design, delivery systems, Medicare Advantage, 
Medicare wraparound benefit carve-outs, etc. In an effort to control healthcare costs, infrastructure development monitoring and review of the Smith Village housing project is underway. The Grants DCED Advisory Committee has been reviewing issues relating to compliance with HUD and NSP2 guidelines, conduct a comprehensive review of water and sewer systems to IDNT and opportunities to utilize resources and infrastructure to increase efficiencies, generate revenues, and reduce liability, determine if GUN and city operations can sell excess capacity, investigate the feasibility for utilizing available technology for remote operations, investigate the status of the Hamilton Dam project and consider implications for both water treatment, plant volume control and storm water management, public safety review department day-to-day -day operations for more efficient utilization of personnel and other resources, determine how to implement mandated public safety, i.e. police, Fire Department, Whole Response Program, Communications Conversion to 800 MHz Operation, January 15, 2012 Page 10 Determine how to provide funding to allow the city lockup to become operational. Ensure that revenue generating equipment, i.e. telephones, is utilized. Refer to projects in progress. Public Safety, P.9. Investigate potential to return automobile impound lot to a city of Flint operation. Restructure fire department, 911 and emergency response operations to adjust to eliminated federal and county revenue sources. Review options for shared services, station configurations, staffing levels, contract services and technology applications. Develop a plan to maintain firefighting staffing levels after safer grant expiration in May 2012. Investigate 911 consolidation. Determine costs to align equipment with County 911 system. Determine metrics to evaluate level of service to City of Flint. And determine process to evaluate City personnel participation in a consolidated system. Next steps restructure collective bargaining agreements. Implement department reorganizations, contract agreements, proposed shared services, mergers and consolidations. Develop and implement FY12 budget amendments to address potential deficit. Develop FY13 budget based on credible revenue projections not only for FY13 but also in the context of projected revenues for the next three years. Amend current deficit elimination plan in light of FY11 audit results. Implement energy block grant projects focusing on incinerator, building retrofits and composting. Maintain the safety of the residents of the city during this transition and keep the citizenry informed of plans throughout this process. Conclusions in this first 45 days of the assignment of an emergency manager for the City of Flint 12 executive orders have been issued which have redefined the functions of the Mayor and City Council, the processing of resolutions, purchase orders in budgetary functions, and the elimination of several departments and associated staff. Personnel assignments have been made to ensure continued operation of the public services necessary for the citizens of Flint. The department directors and the members of the six advisory committees have reviewed the financial and operational status of the city. They have made substantial recommendations for revisions in the city's operation. Following on January 15, 2012 page 11 in-depth review of the financial implication of these recommendations the plan to eliminate the city's long-term deficit will be developed. The city of Flint acknowledges a financial crisis. The first steps require that both the cash and budget status are clarified. Also, the City of Flint realizes that it is a high priority to improve coordination throughout the criminal justice system in Jean C. County. Aggressive efforts are being undertaken to clarify and resolve all issues presented in this report. Opportunities will continue to be provided for ongoing citizen input as plans are being developed to address the financial emergency. For example, monthly City Council meeting public comment, town hall meetings, war meetings in City of Flint employee meetings. A second report of the city's financial and operating plan is due June I, 2012. It is impacted that more detailed recommendations will be made at that time. 
Updates will also be provided as appropriate. Michael K. Brown Emergency Manager City of Flint Attachments Number 1 Organi 7 ATIO NAL Chart Number 2 City of Flint EVIP Package Number 3 Cash Flow Projections for the Period Ending to 30 2012 Number 4 City of Flint FY12 Budget Projections January 15, 2012 Page 12 City of Flint Organizational Chart 68th District Michael K. Brown Court Mayor City Attorney Dane Yine J. Peter Bade EMERGENCY Manager IL City Council L Member L Public Safety Chief Alvern Locke Finance Administration IT Gerald Ambrose Infrastructure Development Howard Croft Police Fire 911 Treasury Budget Risk Management Assessment and Tax Collection Human Resources Information Technology Purchasing Accounting Pension City Clerk Community and Economic Development Planning Zoning and Grants Management Development Building Inspections Blight and Demolition Facilities Maintenance Fleet Parks and Recreation and Forestry Sanitation Street Maintenance Transportation Central Administration and Accounting Transportation Traffic Engineering Transportation, Engineering Utilities, Water Pollution Control Facility Licensing, Permitting, and Human Relations Commission Elections Attachment No. 1 Utilities, 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 Water Service Center Water Plant Water Treatment Center Attachment No. 2 Economic Vitality Incentive Program Certification of Consolidated Services Submitted December 30, 2011 Economic Vitality Incentive Program Certification of Consolidation of Services December 30, 2011 Summary The City of Flint has participated for many years in collaborative projects with other local units of government, courts and major asset management. Governor Snyder has required recipients of state shared revenue to identify collaborative projects currently operational and those which are being evaluated. Several Gene C. County area units of government, including the City of Flint, asked the Flint Area Reinvestment Office, FARO, to facilitate a process to re-envision local government service delivery systems. Future Gene C. Waste Erzold. Future Gene C. developed a shared services category of priorities. Through two subcommittees, one, administrative and two, Finance, potential services were categorized as easy, medium or hard. Six initial services were further defined with a vision describing a successful function and a listing of the ultimate impacts which would result from attainment of the vision. The recommendation some areas attached. The City of Flint is currently operating under Public Act 4 with an emergency financial manager. Implementation of shared or consolidation of services is essential in order to resolve the current financial crisis and for long-term, efficient delivery of services to the public. The attached schedule lists the ongoing consolidated and cooperative measures and those currently being evaluated. Cost savings should be in it where applicable. Please note, discussions have begun and are ongoing for two projects listed under Potential Future Consolidation Section. 1. Counts wide 911 and 2. Further consolidation of 67th District Court with Flint 68th District Court. Economic Vitality Incentive Program Cooperation, Collaboration and Consolidation Plan as of January 1, 2012. Local Unit Name City of Flint County. Gene Seek Plan is available to the public www.citoffiintcom schedule of 000 PR ATIO and I collaborate on a consolidation of services PREVLOUS bang ongoing consolidation and intergovernmental punitive measures Bishop AII Port Authority 8711, 168th District Court McCree Project Mutual Aid Pacts on Police and Fire Fang Joint Investigations on Drug Enforcement Gene C County Seed Next Michigan Parks County Park Service Mowing Two City Parks Level Four Assessor Sharing with Lansing Income Tax Processing and Record Keeping with Cities of Grand Rapids and and Lansing NSP-1 and NSP-2 Michigan State Police Road Patrol Kurnandi Water Authority with City of Lapair and Counties of Gene C. Lapair and Sinalak Year implemented a prox. 1988-2011 since 1970s since 1980s 2009-2011-2008. 
2009 beginning 2012 since 2009 2011 estimated annual savings collaboration 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 collaboration